so now that is really fun because see how you get the flowers in the background it's a light enough color I actually could have done it in a blue or even the Knight of Navy and just did the stamping off so you get the lighter color, which you guys have seen me do before. But I want to do one more thing with this. I am going to take the I'm going to take the Knight of Navy, okay, and see how I've squeezed the ink pad. You get that by closing the pad and just um, you just squeeze and then you get this. So let me make sure that's in camera. For you there we go that should work and I am gonna put a piece of scrap paper underneath too so that I don't make a giant mess so give me one second while I fix that okay then I'm gonna grab my blender pen And is everything in camera? No. Let me scoot that up a little bit so you can see that. Okay. And I'm just going to take the tip of my blender pen and I'm going to grab some of this Knight of Navy color and I am going to start coloring these little pieces here. I'm just going to be careful when I get close to the actual label and I like that they're ending up a little variegated they're not quite the same colors and um, when i get to like this piece that is a flower in itself and if you look closely you will see that the flower fades into the label so it doesn't really have an edge so i'm just going to go really carefully and create an edge and then go back and color that the same thing is happening over here with this flower. So I'm going to just make a petal with my blender pen. And you just get as much color as you want. I kind of like that they're not all um, a solid color. And you can decide then how you want yours to look by just adding a little bit of color. Now I can look at this and go, oh, I want a little bit more color here on these edges. Okay, so I can just use what's left on my blender pen. I'm gonna flip that over and do the other side. Basically the same way, it's almost the same. It isn't exactly the same. So, um, so you'll know that when you are playing with it, you will see that it, they are, um, the designs on, on each side are a little different, and that's true of the larger label as well. So again, I'm here with this flower, and I'm just lifting it a little bit just to give myself a little bit more control while I'm kind of going inside the hole. I'm hoping you guys can see that. I'm kind of coloring inside the hole to get more of a design there. And... You know we're all um, artsy in our own way so you can decide how much or how little color you want on everything again this little flower needs a little petal there so and the fun thing about this is you can go back and forth with it until you get the coloring you want like I can see here look I missed a little bit so but that's not a bad thing. It's okay. And then you just know to clean off your brushes, right, when you're done. All right. So, again, I want to make sure that I am on screen while I show you this. So I'm going to stand up while I do this. Remember I said this has those little slots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some adhesive on here. And then this piece will fit inside here like so and then you can lift it and fold that one inside and then just wiggle it until you've got it to where it's even and both pieces have stitching so you can kind of wiggle it around until you get it to where it looks like you've got it even right and then on this one I'm going to put the adhesive here and then slide this one in to the center and some of that will want to slide under under this as well 
and under the other one. I'm kind of lining up the points so I can see where it goes. And then because I'm using the liquid glue, it gives me a little bit of wiggle time on there to try and get it to where I like it. But see, now I've made a totally, oops, now I've made a totally different label by combining all three of these. And I uh, just love, I mean, that is so dainty, isn't it? All right, so I'm gonna zoom out while I put the rest of the card together. Or zoom down, whatever. Okay, so um, remember to put your cap on your blender pen. And mine, oh, there it is. I knew it rolled away. All right, so now to start, I am going to put this piece onto the front of my card. Super simple. And again, remember, if you know you're not going to see the inside, but you have something to cut out and you want to use that same color, whether it's designer series paper or it's cardstock, why not cut it right out of the center? So again, also remember that this suite is part of Card Club. So if you've been wondering about my Card Club, this could be a fun one because I am extending the deadline to reserve this one until December 10th so that is awesome now I'm just going to set this on here like so and then I just realized I was going to put some ribbon on here <laughs> and I totally forgot but that's okay it, it'll look cute without it so I'm just gonna you know so picture I forgot to put this on and I don't want to peel it off because I'll make a big mess but I was gonna do that so you can see that would have been cute. Um, but I guess I am going to have to make another one later, right? But I am going to pop this up on dimensionals again. And um, so my black ones are handy. So that's what I'm going to use. Now this is, this is thin. This edge is thin. So you can decide if maybe you don't want to pop it up. But you see where I'm putting this? Um, I'm putting some of my dimensionals so that it's on both the the balmy blue shiny and on the other one and then I'm going to um, see so I'm catching both pieces is what I'm trying to say and I'm not saying very well so I'm going to be using some of these edges here on this card because I've already you know put that down right so just make sure you're not going through the holes which I'm not so yay always a good sign right and then I'm gonna put one here and then one over here okay so this is um, it is thin because it is um, designer series paper but these two pieces are a little thicker so you shouldn't have any problem if you are worried about it you can put another one in the center just to keep it from squishing down but I am I am in love with these label dies oh they are so so gorgeous so there you go and see the thing is is you could do this either way you could make this portrait or landscape so which way does it open hang on oh it opens that way so either way would work um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way because I had planned on it being a landscape card so the only thing I forgot to do was add some ribbon, which I'm wondering if I just do, um, you know what I'm gonna do? That I did not stick that down on purpose. And I am going to grab just some ribbon here. These are not the scissors I normally use for ribbon. I keep a pair with um, a ribbon tied on it and I don't know where I put them so that I only use them for ribbon. And now I'm gonna take some tear and tape. Fly by the seat of your pants, that's me. Anybody else? You make a mistake and you just keep going. Why is that not coming up? Do not know, I do not know. I can feel that that's the edge of it and it just doesn't want to come up. Hang on, I gotta find it. There it is. That was weird. Okay. 
and I'm going to put that this way and pull that off. I have my take your pick tool here right next to me, but what do I grab? My snips. All right, so now I just want to make this kind of a loop de do thing like so on my card front. like that and then I can put this on there eh, I don't know if I like it now hmm hmm do you ever do something and then go nope maybe not maybe not such a grand scheme of things that's all right I'll just do this fly by the seat of my pants that is me all the way girls and guys I don't know who's watching all right and I stuck it to my table. Oops. And I could do that. So why not? There we go. So I ended up still having ribbon, even though I did it a little weird. I still ended up with some ribbon on my card. Just a little bit different than I originally planned. There we go, I made a big X. And then I can throw the thanks on there. I'm not sure how I feel about that ribbon, but, you know, it's there. It's a little weird. <laughs> kind of looks like a flag. I may, have to ref I may have to fix that. But anyway, there you go. So there is that card. But don't you just love that labels? Oh, those labels are so gorgeous. And then the other cards that I made for you today. This is the one I made, and this is the one that is similar to it. So there you go, and these are made with the Regency Park Suite in the catalog. If you have any questions, remember you can shop at MemoryInkers.com. That's my Stampin' Up! event. Email me at MemoryInkers at gmail.com. I will add a hostess code to the title of this uh, video when I post it. Um, but as of right now, it's mid-December, so I haven't created the hostess code yet. So... Um, anyway, I hope, oh, look at that blue sleeve, green sleeve, and they're blue and green. I did not plan that. <laughs> All right, you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. Party on.